Groot fight of the night. All right, I'm for that. You haven't made up your mind yet, have you? No, uh, I really haven't, Sam. I mean, the last one so far. <laughs> no, not a candidate. There's Jose Vidal. As we mentioned, he really resurrected his career, coming back strong with a big win over Ricardo Cepeda. And that got him back in people's minds after being inactive in 1991, giving it up. And that he stopped Cepeda in the third round and then beat uh, Albert Rendon June the 10th, a 10-round decision. And suddenly people remember that 31-year-old uh, Jose Vidal, pretty good skills, pretty good fighter, and they've gotten him back up into the rankings. Number nine in the IBF, number 11 in the WBC. Well, Sam, you know, uh, I would have to give uh, Zuma Nelson uh, a, a big edge over Vidal, but I think he could fight the other two guys and give a good account of himself. He's a skilled fighter. Now, Mark Anthony Smith uh, tried to put the bull on him before. You were busy looking at your notes, so you didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But he walked over to Vidal, tried to stare him down. Uh, you know, the old Sonny Liston uh, right. routine. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work or not. All right, we'll find out. Let's get the introductions from Ward Todd. Our next contest scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior lightweight division. Introducing first your referee, Harry Smith. We introduce in the blue corner wearing the black and silver trunks. Weighing 131 pounds, a professional record of 16 wins, eight losses, and eight big knockouts from Birmingham, Alabama. The Stinger, Mark Anthony Smith. And in the red corner, wearing the red trunks, weighing 130 and three quarter pounds. He has won 33 fights, lost but seven with one draw. 20 wins by knockout from Jersey City, New Jersey. Here is Jose Vidal. <laughs> 31 year old Jose Vidal, who turned pro in 1978. That is one long career. Former Latin American junior lightweight champion. WBA America's junior lightweight champion, but never quite got into contention for the shot at the top. And then after being knocked out by Brian Patton in 1990 in the eighth round, Atlantic City, he was inactive from September of 1990 to March of this year. Vidal likes to throw the right hand. jabs by Mark Anthony Smith. Smith is a rangy fighter. He seems to have a big uh, edge in, uh, in reach and height uh, on Vidal. And very, very muscular. Actually, he looks like um, much the heavier of the two. And as a matter of fact, there's only a quarter pound difference. against Albert Rendon on June the 10th here at the Paramount. Vidal started quickly, landed some big right hands early. Rendon survived, and then they went the distance. Well, you remember Ricardo Cepeda. That's exactly the way he started with Cepeda. First punch of the fight, and it was just about all over for Cepeda. He never recovered. Good stiff left hook thrown by Smith, blocked by Vidal. Smith is 
Smith's kept up a lot of movement. That left hand just glancing off the side of Smith's head. Nadal has missed a lot. He's thrown a lot of punches, but he's missed. A lot of movement by Mark Anthony Smith. And, and Smith punches back pretty good, man. When you fire at him, he fires back. That's what makes a good fight. Jab by Smith. End of round one. Two on two, Sam City, and I'm the mayor. Yo, fellas, how about a game of hoops? Hey, what? With you? No, with your mama. Mom? This guy was good, but he was all dribble. Say what? Come on, man. Deserve one of these. Franchise for the cold blood. Solid. A noble warrior advised the art of protection springs from within. One must stay vigilant against one's unfragrant perspiration, lest one provoke a hostile response. Thus, a Norse ritual is right guard's footstep. An aromatic array of the precious scents and maximum protection against disarming wetness. Confirming the wisdom, the best defense is not to offend. Red Guard Sports Deck. Anything less would be uncivilized. Round two scheduled for 10. Jose Vidal in the red trunks and the black and white trunks, Mark Anthony Smith. Pretty good pace to that first round. Good left hook by Smith. Nice moves by Smith, Gil. Looks like a pretty good fighter, Sam. That was, nice, was a nice straight right hand, good jab, good range, good strength. I think Vidal may be just a little quicker on his feet. Leaping left hook by Vidal missed. Just missed two. Partially blocked by Vidal. That overhand right. Smith coming back with the jab effectively. Vidal is going to have to get closer to Smith to try to get those combinations, those body and head combinations going. If he stays in this range, he's going to be in trouble. Very similar to a lot of quick moves, a lot of good footwork, quick two, hands, and a lot of uh, slipping and sliding. Two good, solid professional fighters. Good right hand. Good right hand by Smith. And Vidal is hurt. Holding on. Taking as much time as he could. Another right hand landed. Vidal backing up and covering up as Mark Smith comes on. Vidal landed a right hand. Smith as he loads up with his right. And Vidal goes down. The count is four, and a shaky Vidal wobbles to his feet. Makes the eighth. Vidal is hurt and in some trouble. And he goes to one knee, he fell, and he tackles Smith. A hurt Jose Vidal is stopped. It's over. Smith. Now, now, it's not over. Smith. Yes, it is over. First he ruled no knockdown. Now referee Harry Smith in the confusion waved it off. The fight is over. Well, you can see Vidal still really is in trouble. He just doesn't know where he is, Sam. He never reacted right from that first right hand when we mentioned that he had got hurt earlier. And he's still shaking and doesn't know what happened. I don't believe he knows. Now he's trying to clear his head. I don't think he understands what happened. Mark Anthony Smith has come in and upset the highly ranked Jose Vidal. Let's take a look at some of this action and see how Smith did this. Here's that first right hand. That, that, now you can see that Vidal is hurt because you can see him grab. He was really hurt. Uh, 
a lot more than the, it seemed from the punch, but the way he reacted, he knew he was hurt and hurt badly. Oh, then, that right sends him down. Right on the button. And the, and Smith knew he had hurt him with that first right hand because he worked it overtime after that. One right hand after the other. So just as Jose Vidal did to Ricardo Cepeda in March, Mark Anthony Smith does to Jose Vidal here tonight. Let's take a look at the end of the fight. Good left hook to the body. Solid, hard punch it is, Smith. And it was that one left hook, yeah. Sam, that really did it. Left hook to the body. Vidal went down and took Smith with him. Take another look. There's that left hook to the body. That's the punch that took everything that was left in Vidal out of him. Man. Third and seventh. Sam. Vidal still upset now as he is clear-headed, upset that the fight has been stopped. But here's the official announcement. Here is your time. Two minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. said he stared him down uh, in the pre-fight talks. Well, he was confident. Very much so. And goes out a winner as he stops Jose Vidal in the second.